Well, today we're going to be looking at a couple of pieces of uh, Mork and Mindy merchandise. Uh, so Mork and Mindy, which was a, a huge uh, sitcom in the, the sort of uh, early 80s, um, was massive, made Robin Williams uh, a star. Uh, everyone used to watch it and think it was funny. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it was a spin-off from Happy Days, so the character of Mork appeared in Happy Days in one episode in a backdoor pilot. Um, but then when they did the series proper, they relocated him to then current times uh, in Boulder, Colorado, where he had adventures as sort of a fish out of water comedy uh, living with uh, a girl named Mindy. Uh, so Mork and Mindy, very famous. They did quite a bit of merchandise from it, but not that many toys, as you can imagine. So. Um, Mattel had the license to do the figures and uh, so my phone just fell down uh, so Mattel had the license to do the figures and so they did this what they called a talking figure at the time um, and sadly because it was Mattel uh, they used the same body that they used for all of their figures so um, originally it was a fashion doll body they got used for things like Welcome Back Cotter and even <coughs> the Space 1999 figures um, it wasn't a great body um, it had very limited sort of mobility the arms are just rubber can't hold anything um, the heads were always at a weird angle because of the neck post uh, and the legs only had a cup joint and a cup joint so he can't bend his legs at all the feet I'll tell you what, let me get, get him out of the, the uniform, we'll have a look. Okay, so sorry, it was just easier to get him, Koenig, uh, get his trousers off because he's got uh, flares. So the body, the legs were a cut joint at a slight angle. Um, a cut joint doesn't even rotate, this is just worn. Um, no uh, ankle joint, and the trouble is because of the plastic they use, very similar to the plastic that... Uh, uh, marks used for the Lone Ranger line in that it gets loose really quickly. So Koenig's not horrible, but Mork, his legs are really loose. Um, he came in his uh, red jumpsuit, which was actually a, a, a spacesuit, a jumpsuit reused from the original Star Trek series. Um, it was on one of the villains wore it, and they just they put some trim on it and gave him a helmet. Uh, the cuff, uh, cuffs, the um, sort of pant legs, I don't know what you call that bit, the ankle uh, was silvered and like the Dennis Fisher Cyberman, silver just goes, you very rarely, unless you've got a box version, a loose one, you never see this silver still on there. Um, he came with little grey boots, just little rubber boots. Um, pretty good sculpt of... Uh, of Robin Williams. Uh, there's a, a much rarer Mindy doll um, which is again a very very good sculpt of uh, Pandora. Um, these ones sold really badly certainly in the UK so they ended up in remainder stores all over. There was a, a, a chain of remainder stores called Tom's and they had these in for like 99p and you, you couldn't give them away at one point but the, the Mindy, as far as I'm aware, let me know if I'm wrong here but as far as I'm aware, wasn't released officially in the UK I'm presuming they thought British boys would much rather play with action men than uh, a Mindy doll I don't know what that uh, says about uh, the Mattel at the time um, and like I say, it was a talking doll so it came with this massive backpack um, and the uh, the backpack is the part that talks and it used the same sort of system as Talking Action Man and a Dennis Fisher Dalek. Inside here is a little record um, with a little cone speaker. So you see there's a cone with a needle on and it vibrates on the little records, an actual plastic record in there. These tend not to age well. Shall we see if this one, what it goes like? <laughs> Did you get that? No idea. Shazbat, don't look at me like that. That wasn't too bad. Nope.
they also would tend to get stuck on one phrase. I think that was R R, which was his laugh. Get stuck on the same groove. Um, I'll see if I can work out what he's saying, but yeah, they, they haven't aged well. Most of them don't work at all, so I'm happy that this one actually works. Um, they had stickers you had to put on, and it was heat sealed, so unlike the Dalek, which you could sort of get apart with a screwdriver, uh, this one you can't even get apart to like oil it up or replace the band. Basically, there's a, there's a, a band in there that holds the needle, uh, tensions it, and it it perishes after time. So yeah, he's, he's a nice little figure. You can pick these up pretty cheaply. I think I paid a tenner for this one. Um, they tend to be very faded on the uniform. Silver's always missing. And either missing, there's a lot of these without the backpacks, or they, they talk like that. No idea. Um, Mattel also did a, a smaller scale figure, and they basically used the same body that they used for their uh, Battlestar Galactica figures even had uh, the same sort of detailing on it with a quite an, a, a nice uh, Robin Williams head. What I've seen a lot of people do is they'll get the Robin Williams head off one of those figures and use it to make an Apollo figure, which is quite a nice idea. Uh, same boots that they were in, exactly the same mould, just a cheap figure, but he did come in his egg ship, um, which the egg ship was eventually reused as uh, the escape pod in Escape from New York. Um, which is, uh, so all, the, all these props just go around the studios, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, so that, that's the figures. I haven't got the, the little figure. Um, but I, we're also going to look at a colour form set. So let's uh, clear this away. Okay, so this is a colour form set. As you know, I love colour forms. Let's uh, just say, have a crazy Zyme, crazy time. I imagine that's meant to be alien language. With Mork and Mindy and Colourforms plastic pieces. Colourforms, plastic sticks like magic. Well, sticks like a small piece of plastic using static, to be honest. So, nice image of uh, Robin Williams and Pandora. Had a bit of a crush on her at the time. Um, the logo with Mork's egg ship, because he came, came to Earth in an egg. Uh, usual sort of Colourforms packaging but this one's slightly different to normal ones in that normally you get a, uh, a background and lots of characters to use but obviously with Morgan Mindy there's only two characters so you get variations on them and we'll have a look at the artwork in a minute but it's not great so here's the instruction booklet and it shows you different things you can do with Mork and Mindy um, for some reason Mark used to be upside down a lot. In fact, the figure actually came upside down in the box, I seem to remember. It was, I can't even remember why in the program. Why did he, did he used to sleep upside down or something? I can't remember. Um, but that, Zazbat, that must be what he was saying. Because it was Shazbot, Zazbat, he had a made up language. I bet it's not aged well. I've not seen this in uh, years. I bet it's not aged well. Um, so Shazbat or Shazbot is Odan. Scrim is Scram. Nanu Nanu. That was always his catchphrase. Um, yeah, nothing on the back of this one unusually. Um, usual sort of colour forms. But they're obviously not a great instruction sheet because it, this one doesn't really do a lot. Uh, so you get, as usual, colourful background, part of the box. And then you get two, uh, two cards of parts and then you can make up... So you can, uh, I don't think these have ever been off the plastic, so it's the first time they've ever been used. So you can make your little scene up. It's got very long arms. Ooh, it's sort of stuck to it. There we go. And then you can also do mock. Uh, 
Uh, but the colour forms was always hit and miss on the artwork. Um, some were better than others, like the best one I think I've ever seen is the black hole set. But you got things like Battlestar Galactica, it's okay. But some was weird and this is really weird. Pandora doesn't look too bad, but wow, that does not look like uh, Robin Williams at all. No. Uh, but it's quite a nice little set. Um, it seems to be weirdly either very rare and expensive or really cheap and common. Um, a few years back you couldn't get hold of it, it was one of those rarer colour form sets. Now, I don't know whether there's been like a warehouse find, something like that, but you can pick it up. Again, I think I paid about a tenner for this one. Um, but there's very little Mork and Mindy merchandise, uh, really, for toy collectors. So it's quite an easy one to, to collect if you want to. But uh, let me know in the comments if you remember Mork and Mindy. Was it one of your favourites? Did you find it excruciatingly uh, embarrassing? Did you have a crush on Pam Dorber or Robin Williams? Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we have a Patreon page now, so if you want to help support the channel, please pop along there. Uh, be gratefully received. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.